Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddyback, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, RK Tractors, Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, Wasp Archery, and Realtree. Welcome to Midwest Whitetail East Show. Today is August the 10th, Saturday. We've been working all week and me and Jace and Mason decided to come up here and pull our cameras uh, here in Indianapolis on our urban properties. We've been hunting the urban zones now for probably close to 10 years and we just cruised through downtown and it's just amazing in these inner cities it's not just the good food that draws people or the entertainment or the sports but also the deer hunting there's a lot of areas that these bucks stay that we don't have permission to hunt um, but we do have some pretty good properties at the very end on this lane on the left side there is a pond kind of running along the drive and we're actually gonna kind of be hanging a set right off of the driveway where these two lanes split uh, because of how the bucks just come down through there the boys are finally waking up a little bit they've had chick-fil-a so it's time to work Welcome to Midwest White Tail You Show. We're here in Marion County here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Today is September the 26th and we're hunting one of our properties up here this year. It has several shooter bugs, a couple ancient bugs. One of them is called Vincent. He's probably a six or seven year old bug this year and uh, He's probably close to mid 160s at least. Then we have a super wide eight pointer uh, with some extra sticker points. And uh, we named him Muley. And he's probably a mid 160s deer too. There's a couple other bugs that aren't super uh, massive racks, but really old. But uh, we're down here in the meat of things trying to put a big buck down. So we're just going to sit back here. See what happens, just uh, sit down and relax, and hopefully, it happens tonight.
tells me how I somehow got hooked up with two other bugs. Got hooked up with two other bugs. That beast. Just killed Muley, son. Donaldson, did you smoke him? Son, I smoked that guy. He got in a fight with a buck right in front of us and come running right into the field. Look, yeah, this is all the blood. Okay. There's a dead deer. Huh? There's a dead deer right there. Son, caught in the banks of the White River. That is a giant. What? A beast. We already came what? down. Well, we finally dragged this thing up from the river. It fell down all the way down the hill and uh, definitely one of the craziest hunts that I have ever been part of. It's just, we knew this deer was in there and we had truck camera pictures of it. And it was just crazy because Jace was in his tree, you know, almost 300, 400 yards away. And uh, he texted me, he said, Dad, he said, Muley just come walking by. And of course he couldn't shoot it because he didn't have a buck tag. And uh, sure enough, it come pushing some bucks through there, got in a fight with a buck, and it come running in on us, almost ran right through our shooting lane. And uh, I was leaning clear out of the stand and Zach did a great job videoing right over the shoulder, and uh, it was, man, it was something. We were speechless. This buck is definitely, definitely, I mean, one of the biggest whitetails that, uh, that I have ever, definitely ever killed. So Jace, he's harvested uh, two does tonight, so we're going to go get those out. And so now he's got a buck tag. Mason's got a buck tag. But I'll just tell you, this is just amazing. Continue to watch Midwest Whitetail East Show. Follow us this season. We've got some big deer we're going to be chasing. I do want to say thanks, Zach, for filming. Uh, this would be a hunt that I never forget, for sure. And uh, we're going to get this guy out of here, and it's just amazing. So continue to watch Midwest Whitetail. Until next week, we'll see you then.
settled in here to this sauna that I call Redneck Blind. It's hot. I actually cracked the windows right now. I got the windows cracked just to let some cold air in. I'll kick that Ozonics on and uh, hopefully that'll, that'll help as well. But uh, got this big and beastie uh, to my right. Um, these beans are really starting to turn yellow, especially with how dry it's been. But the big and beastie should be able to keep the deer in their pattern and uh, that's, the pattern is coming down here and being how hot it was today I'm hoping that they'll come down and get a drink too and the, the water's literally 10, 5 to 10 yards in front of me there's a lot of a lot, lot of sign on the edge of it uh, deer tracks and whatnot. so after these this buck I call G3 Curly or Tower G3's been most consistent so hopefully it's he's our guy tonight and uh, just a matter of you know when he comes down here we got a, I got a picture of him um, early this morning actually right right here in front of this water hole and, and but and he's walking through these beans and big and beastie so he is in the area there's no doubt about it I would guess that he's no more than a hundred yards from here somewhere bedded and it's just a matter of if he gets up on his feet uh, and works his way here before dark you know, with the weather like it is right now, I don't have very high hopes, but I, I, I hope that uh, luck will be my side tonight. So let's get this 2019 season rolling, and uh, with a little luck, may even be able to uh, to uh, get a crack at one of these one of these mature bucks. sun is, is just now setting and it's gonna get dark pretty quick because it's cloudy to the west so um, to say things have been slow would be an understatement <laughs> it looks like in Ohio anyway there's a really good cold front coming through it's gonna get super hot again midweek like Tuesday Wednesday is gonna be in the low 90s which is crazy for the first of October wish we would have had better uh, better action here tonight but it is what it is but anyway uh, most of the seasons are getting started, so be be safe out there, and uh, best of luck to you guys all. I want to appreciate you guys watching uh, Midwest Whitetail East Show, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys back here again next week um, and with some colder temperatures. <laughs>